This is Pick 6 coming to you from the NFL Owners Meetings where we ask your fan questions to the experts. We've got a batch of good ones for you because you submitted a lot of fan questions online. Let's get to that first one. This one was a Twitter submission from at Skullchant28. They want to know how high are the Vikings willing to go to get their QB of the future if that's the plan. ESPN's Kevin Seifert answers this one. Well, I think the Vikings know they're probably not going to get to number one overall where their NFC North rivals, the Bears, are sitting and probably going to take Caleb uh, Williams. But any other spot, I think that they, I don't think they're ruling anything out. I think number two, if Washington really would be willing to, to move it, uh, would be a possibility. Certainly number three were the Patriots. And, and, and if none of those top three are willing to move, I think then they really get into another gear at number four and five. But I think they're just kind of looking at all options. I believe that if number two becomes available, they would definitely get involved in those conversations. They'll have parameters in terms of how willing, high they're willing to go as far as compensation. But I don't think they have any limits other than the expected uh, uh, rejection of any offers from the, their division rivals in Chicago. Thanks, Kevin, for the answer. It was a great question, and we're going to continue with that quarterback theme with question number two. This is from Jacob in Arlington, Kentucky. He wants to know if we're not able to get one of the top QBs in the draft, what then do we do? The Athletics' Alec Lewis takes this one. Great question, Jacob. Um, the, the answer begins with what is your qualification of a top quarterback. I mean, this is a class featuring so many impressive guys. Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, J.J. McCarthy. We could go to Bo Nix and Michael Penix. And so if the Vikings feel like all six of those guys are potential options at, at specific spots, it'd be hard probably to, to exit this draft without one. I mean, the other alternative is if you're not going to find one of those guys or you don't believe in them, you could end up with multiple really high-end defensive players. And I'm talking defensive linemen like a Byron Murphy Jr. I'm talking a cornerback like Quinion Mitchell. There are a lot of ways to improve this team. And obviously quarterback needs to be discussed, number one, but they will be totally okay uh, from an, a talent addition standpoint, however this thing ends up. It's a very good point, Alec. I think that is definitely something to keep in mind as all eyes are on the draft, which will be happening in just about a month. Let's get to a draft related question then. This is question number three. It's from Cody in Mount Vernon, South Dakota. He wants to know what's the best defensive player in this year's draft. We've got NFL Network's Mike Garofolo to answer this. I'm going with Quinion Mitchell, the cornerback out of Toledo. I saw him at the Senior Bowl. Matter of fact, we thought we were going to get him on set, so Ian Rappaport, my colleague, and I were watching him closely. Um, we saw him break up a play during one-on-ones, and we were kind of like, yo, that, that's our guy. That's the guy we're going to interview. We wound up not interviewing him, so I didn't get the chance to talk to him. It was a, a conflict in that regard, but it made me watch him closely in that Senior Bowl practice. I'm like, this guy's a dude. It's unbelievable how much confidence he had. He came from not the biggest uh, conference in the country, but a decent conference, so he had to stack up against that senior ball competition. He did an amazing job that week, really helped his draft stock, had a great combine as well. Apparently has been great on visits and interviews. I, I think Quinion Mitchell is going to be a stud cornerback in the NFL. Thank you, Mike. You can find my one-on-one -on -one with him from the owners meetings on Vikings.com or the Vikings app. Let's get to question number four. This one is a question from Hunter in Prescott, Wisconsin. He's asking, is KJ Osborne's replacement already on the roster? Answering this one is Ben Gessling from the Star Tribune. Brandon Powell would be the name I would certainly keep an eye on. A guy that carved out a role for himself at the end of last season, had a lot of uh, different facets in the offense where they like to use him on jet sweeps and, and different handoffs in addition to what he does in the offense as a receiver. I think he'll get a chance. I think the, the coaching staff is enthusiastic about him. They could look to add a little bit more at that position in the draft. And they have other guys on the roster like Tristan Jackson that could get a shot. But Brandon Powell certainly would be the name I would keep in mind as wide receiver three for the Vikings, at least at this point. I think he's going to have a good chance to claim that spot. Happy to have Brandon Powell back in the mix. And of course, as Kevin O'Connell has been saying all owners meetings long, there is a lot of depth at the receiver position. So maybe it will be a direction they take later on in the draft. Let's get to question number five. This is from Andrew in St. Joseph, Minnesota. He asks, how are you viewing the 2024 season? Do you see us as being competitive or in rebuild mode? Dane Mizzitani from the Pioneer Press has the answer. What's going on, Andrew? Uh, I think next season, uh, should you expect Super Bowl? Probably not. But should you expect a full rebuild? No. 
I think they're going to be pretty competitive because I think this is a really good roster still. Sure, Kirk Cousins is gone. He's off to Atlanta. You still got Justin Jefferson, who's the best receiver in the game. Jordan Addison emerging. TJ Hawkinson when he comes back from his knee injury. They added Aaron Jones, added a ton of pieces on defense. I don't think this team could tank if it wanted to because I think there's too many, t too much talent. Now, you, they have to hit on the quarterback and to be super competitive, but I think at this point, moving forward, uh, the competitive rebuild, it's more in the competitive side than in the rebuild side at this point. All right, thanks, Dane. We are going to now close out the show with our final question and wrap a bow on the quarterback theme of the owners' meetings with this last one. It's a question from Hunter in Olivia, Minnesota. It's very simple and straightforward. What is the quarterback plan? Matthew Collar with Purple Insider takes this one. Well, Hunter, if you know, please let me know, because I don't think anyone is 100% sure right now, including the Minnesota Vikings, because they're going to have so many different options here. When they traded for the 23rd pick from the Houston Texans, they gave themselves flexibility to possibly have more draft capital than other teams that want to move up to pick one of the best quarterbacks in this draft, which could be Drake May, it could be Jaden Daniels, it could be J.J. McCarthy, or if they don't trade up, they could wait to see which quarterback falls through the cracks and maybe they have an idea of which one of those guys would work best for Kevin O'Connell's offense. But I think that what we can be pretty confident about is the Vikings are going to draft a quarterback in this draft. So your favorite mock drafter is probably right when they're mocking the Vikings a quarterback. But unfortunately, they usually don't tell us beforehand which one they love the most. But I can say this, whichever one they pick, they'll have a great opportunity to build around that quarterback in the coming years with salary cap space. So you should buy their jersey because they're going to have a chance to do things that other teams have done in building around a rookie quarterback. Well, you can bet that I'll be buying that jersey if that's the case. Matthew, thank you so much for weighing in. And thank you to all our experts on this edition of Pick 6. We will have another one coming at you next week from the NFL Network. We can't wait to share that with you and, and the opinions of all the experts leading up to this year's NFL Draft. For now, signing off from owners' meetings, I'm Tatum Everett. Thanks for tuning in.